Hello again, chapter 24. Sometimes I have trouble sleeping. It's weird. I can feel exhausted, but still, I just lie there wide awake, staring up into the dark with all sort of ideas bomber, bombarding me like dead pelicans. Tonight, for example, I get to thinking about each stale military school proportion, wondering if maybe it's not such a terrible idea after all. Maybe I should join up when I was about 14 or 15, work hard, worked hard for a year, marching 10 miles a day, hustling through obstacle courses, sculpting under barbed wire with a wooden rifle cradled in my arms. Then come back home, mask laid up and speed shine and tight as a snare drum on the inside. How else are you supposed to know when you are not a kite, sorry, how else are you supposed to know when you are not a kid anymore in this society? I remember reading about this primitive in initiation ritual in school. They had one where they take the kid away out into the wildness, wilderness and drop him off and he has to get back by myself without any weapons or tools. He's just out there with his bare hands digging up roots to eat, making fires with rocks and sticks or whatever. I mean, he could starve, or a mountain lion could eat him, or something, but that's all part of the test. When he gets back, he is a man, and not only that, he finds his spirit guide. Talk about embarrassing the weird. But nowadays, they don't do anything but leave you at home but yourself with a kitchen full of potato chips and soft drinks. Then in your bedroom you've got your TV, video games and the internet. But do they expect you get to sorry but do they expect you to get from that? A big fat case of I don't give a shit. These days, a kid has to go looking for his own initiation. Initiation, sorry. Initiation, or make his own personal war to fight since there was the atomic vampires through our, through our so hard to believe in. It's like Ricky says, every time they trump on, Trump on, Trump one up, it gets worse. If I was in charge, it's be different. You wouldn't have to go to military school or get dropped off in the wilderness or fight in a war. Instead, you head off for what I call the teen corps. I would like to, I be. I'd be like the Peace Corps, only for teenagers. You have to go around and like pile up sandbag, sandbags for people when hurricanes blowing, hurricanes blowing and replant trees in the deforested areas and help get medicine attention to Healy to 
hillbillies and so forth h i double e p i double e i e s and so forth you do it for a whole year and then when you got back you get the right to vote and buy alcohol and everything else you be grown I have most of the details of the plan work out when sleep finally takes me unfortunately the next morning the excitement fears off it's too late for me anyway if I were a dreamer like Bob Lewis I waxed on about becoming a politician and establishing the teen corps for the next generation or whatever but but like I say I'm more of the right now kind of guy and right now I have my own miniature aid plan to work on going to Amy to get tethered I hope see by letting her help me I be helping her she gets confidence and I get the satisfaction of bringing confidence to someone who needs it worse than a pop singer needs rehab hey it may not change the world it may not change it may not change the world but for the two of us it's a win-win situation the problem is since officially I'm grounded I have to pass the idea by mom over breakfast usually in the mornings she try to avoid talking to me except maybe to say get it yourself but when I hit her with the Amy proportion she hits back with the with a barrage of question that are supposed to sound like she's trying to get rid of Amy's character I know better what she really what she really wants to know is whatever Amy has any up up it up social connection what she really wants to know is whatever Amy has any up it up social connection if that was the case I'm sure mom wouldn't have any problem with me going over there but of course since Amy's mother is nothing more than the queen of the paper route and the Indian casino mom su- suspects I must have some sneaky ulterior motive so she say how do I know you're not just trying to get out of being grounded all afternoon I go hey if you don't believe me why don't you call her up and ask her and she's like because for all I know this is just some little thing you want to date and she'll say anything you tell her to believe me believe me I said I don't I do not want to date this girl why does everyone have to automatically ki- why do why does everyone have to automatically assume it's a sex thing moms still not conf- convene convenes convene convenient convinced so I tell her to call Mr. Aster and ask him whatever I needed total that does the trick she has never called him I know all too well that she doesn't like to get involved with my actual schooling if she can help it something must have happened in her childhood 
to make her afraid of teachers. So we work out a deal. I can, I still can't drive to school, but I can drive to Amy's in the afternoon. And Gitch will check my gas level every evening to make sure I don't go driving round all over everywhere. Like I can just put my gas in the tank if I want to. Jesus. Finished.